Hi there, Hassan. Very nice to see that you've written essays. Let's see what you have done in this particular set. Okay. Dear Sir, Madam, I am writing you with regard to my absence for attending the exams. In the first instance, I would like to render my sincere apologies for not presenting on exam day. Secondly, kindly find my personal information below. Okay. Um, first of all, let's change a few things if we can, please. Uh, I'm writing you uh, with regard to my absence uh, from the, and then just say which exam it is, okay, from the Engineering 101 exam. All right, that's the first thing. Then I don't really care for this expression. It just sounds really, really unnatural in English. So as does render my sincere apologies. It's just a little too much. So. Uh, I would like to extend my sincere apology or I would like to sincerely apologize for not attending the exam or for not being present at the exam. And then um, I'm never really a fan of this. Remember that we're supposed to be writing full sentences out in IELTS, okay? So uh, please finally kind my personal information. Um, my name is this, and then you can just write commas. My name is Hassan Al-Babli, student number this, and case number this. But um, all these, like, this kind of format is not such a good idea. I would rather you put it in sentence form and then just put commas. Okay. Um, I don't believe you need a furthermore here. You probably just should have started out the paragraph. So the central reason behind my absence is twofold. Full stop and then new sentence. Firstly, I was exceedingly not well that day because I got a severe stomach ache and I was vomiting. Consequently, I was admitted to the hospital. Secondly, the physician recommended, uh, recommend, here are a couple of things you could do here. So, the physician recommended that I have a rest or recommended my resting for three days. Then full stop, because I think this is kind of long. Um, I don't think you needed a linking device here. You could have left it without it. So I was overwhelmed due to the fact that I was alone that day, so I forgot to inform you. Um, let's see. I was alone that day, so I forgot to inform you, at least by sending a metal report, a tested the hospital? No. Uh, by sending a medical report from the hospital where I was hospitalized. Probably a better way to say this. Last but not least, I would be extremely grateful if you could consider me in the second round of exams, which are going to be held. Uh, which is going to be held? Second round of exams. Um, okay, fine. Which is going to be held in the upcoming month. Or put off my exam till the end of the semester and I will appear for the final exam for 100 marks instead of 60 marks. Thank you in advance for your kind understanding and cooperation. Yours faithfully, Hassan Ababli. Okay, um, that part's fine, this part's fine. Um, you did something that I liked very much in this essay, something that most people actually miss. And what you did is you gave two suggestions for the resolutions because you may have noticed that the task asks you to give possible resolutions. You did this. You gave more than one and that's what they mean here by resolutions. Okay, so good work there. Um, there are some areas of awkwardness so I do need you to work on them a little bit but let's take a look at your task two as well. Alright, so let's take a look now at your task two. Smartness, politeness, openness, even rationalness are crucial features for the children progression. All right, let's fix that sentence a little bit if we can. All right, um, smartness. Why don't we say intelligence, politeness, openness, and even uh, rational thought or rational thinking or logical thinking? Something else would probably be better here. Our crucial features for child development is a more uh, accepted way of saying this. Okay, 
It has been debated among experts in developing and developed countries whether teachers in the educational institutes have far more impact than parents on the improvements of the communications and intellectual skills of children. Personally, I firmly agree with that due to the qualifications that teachers have, which give them an edge over the parents. This essay will discuss both sides using examples from UK and government to demonstrate points and prove arguments. On the one hand, there is no and here because evidence is uncountable. There is ample evidence that proves S that teachers in the schools have tremendous impact on the mental and social aptitudes of the chi of children, not the children, of children much more than their parents. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, teachers equipped with better pedagogical and psychological no. Teachers are equipped. Secondly, parents usually <clears throat> do not, not did not, parents usually do not have enough time to spend with their children due to the fact that they are busy with all walks of life. Not the most accurate expression here. I know what you're trying to say with all of their responsibilities, with all of their obligations, but not walks of life here. It's a nice expression, it just doesn't work here. Furthermore, teachers often have ample time to engage children in extracurricular activities that have colossal effect to boost children's apostrophe S cognitive and social capabilities. For example, the recent empirical research by Oxford University with a capital U demonstrated that 78% of children in were, whoops, sorry, were, mm, hold on, let me lower this. All right. Were influenced to a great extent by their teacher. No. All right. 78% of children were influenced to a greater extent by their teacher than their parents. Spelled correctly, please. Therefore, it is conclusively clear that there is considerable effect of teachers on the children's apostrophe S social and cognitive behavior. All right. Let's see what's happening here. There is considerably more effect um, of teachers than their parents, okay? You have to be careful with the way you use these comparative structures here. There are several ways to do them. Um, I see that it's an area you're having problems with. On the other hand, although there is a case for parents enriching children's communication intellectual skills, the impact of their teachers cannot be overstated. So no yet here and no contractions in an IELTS essay. This is largely because parents most often do not have enough time to spend with their children. Wait a minute. Why are we talking about this? Didn't you just say that in the previous paragraph that parent that teachers have a more central role and that's what you're saying again? So why are we talking about on the other hand? I'm very confused so far. Let's see. I feel like you've said all this already. Additionally, it must not be forgotten that children often mimic their parents' apostrophe here, social behavior and way of thinking. However, the teacher's role, apostrophe, is indispensable for children's apostrophe S development, which can bolster their children's social, uh, which can bolster their children, comma, socially and mentally, comma, no skills, to a great extent. For example, if we consider the time that parents spend with their children, we will find around 15% of their time only dedicated for their children, according to the recent research revealed by the UK government. Thus, it is possible to state beyond doubt, beyond doubt, no thought, that parents may assist their children to enhance their social and cognitive skills, but teachers have more profound effect on them. I'm very confused at the way you developed this paragraph. Um, you started off by saying, on the other hand, but essentially, it just sounds like you're saying exactly what you said in the previous paragraph, that parents don't have time, that teachers are more involved, are more indispensable, are more everything. So as far as I'm concerned, um, you didn't develop this paragraph appropriately at all. So first of all, it sounds like, relax, it sounds like um, you think that teachers are more important in a child's uh, life. So that means this paragraph here had to talk about the role of parents, what parents do to help uh, foster cognitive and intellectual and social skills in their children. That's what this paragraph needs to talk about. And then this paragraph needed to talk about 
what the teachers do, how they do it, which is basically what this whole uh, essay dealt with anyway. But um, seeing what your opinion is, you need to spend a paragraph talking about what parents do. Um, in case you needed some ideas, you could have said that um, parents um, are the first role models that children have. Um, they are the first providers of any sort of intellectual stimuli um, ever since, a, a, you know, they're babies. So um, a parent will teach a child its first words. A parent will be the role model for a child's first social interactions. Therefore, the ground is really set through parental uh, influence, okay? Um, and then you could say, however, once children become school age, uh, this influence declines because uh, parents spend much less time with children and this time is then taken up by teachers as well as friends. So those are some of the ways you could have, um, the, I'm just giving you ideas, I'm not saying that that's what you should have written in this paragraph, but those are some things that you could have developed in this paragraph, okay? And then you could have talked about why teachers are so important, so crucial, etc., etc. All right. To conclude from the above examples and arguments, I firmly believe that parents play a pivotal role in the growth of the cognitive and social characteristics of school children. No, the nonetheless, not only teachers' qualifications, but also extracurricular, extra what classroom activities let the teachers have greater and profound influence on children's apostrophe s social capabilities and mental development than parents. Okay, fine. Some grammar problems as well. So basically for me, um, there were three major problems here. Uh, the, the task response was a problem because you didn't develop parents at all. The structure had a problem, so that would affect your coherence or cohesion score. And there were some grammar problems as well. Okay, to do is uh, correct these, add the errors to your error correction list, send them back to me with your new essays. Okay, I'm waiting for them, so good luck with your next writing assignments.